Good Saturday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, a little bit past 8 o'clock, but who's counting at this point? And looking again at some quieter conditions across much of the area as we finish up Saturday as the showers and thunderstorms from earlier tonight have done a pretty good job of dwindling, but we may see a return to that and the possibility of some more thunderstorms and some more heat and humidity as we go on throughout the course of the rest of the next several days. So closing out June and heading into July, we'll be looking for some pretty warm conditions out there, but then also the possibility of not quite entirely so hot as it possibly could be. Back with you after a bit of a t some time off for the health conditions and for those of you who were wondering out there, uh, we'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit, but suffice it to say, feeling much better and things again continuing to be a little bit less in the way of problematic for right now. Drop your location and your weather reports from around the area. If you've got anything in the way of weather pictures, we'd love to see those. If you got reports on the rain gauge amounts or anything in the way of reports from storms from around the area, let us know here at News Channel 3, but also if you have storm reports, damage, things like that, please remember to send those along to the National Weather Service to make certain that they are aware of what happened in and around your location to make certain that they are able to tally the events of the day. So something, again, to think about there, if at all possible. Coming up. Again, chances of rainfall will be with us kind of off and on. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. have to thank all of my colleagues here at News Channel 3 for, again, uh, stepping up to the plate and helping me out. Again, the problem that I had was a diabetic ulcer that formed on my foot and had to get that taken care of, was admitted to the emergency room uh, to get all that taken care of in the last about month or so. So thanks to everybody else here at the News Channel 3 Weather Department for stepping up and keeping an eye on my schedule while I was away and also, again, being willing to work some of the long and arduous hours that come in with fill-in time around here, which does tend to happen from time to time. So thank you very much. A uh, very professional bunch here at News Channel 3, and thanks to you as well for all the kind comments uh, while I was out and away. Everything healing, not quite back to full time here just yet, but at least the doctor has given me clearance to be moving around by just a little bit anyway, so definitely good news there. Rest of the evening, don't expect anything in the way of cooler weather anytime soon. We're talking about some pretty mild conditions at the very best at this point in time. We're looking at numbers back in the mid to upper 70s, if that, throughout the rest of the evening. So that's it and that's all where it comes to anything involving slightly quote-unquote cooler temperatures for tonight. And it looks like a little bit nicer on the temperatures by just a little bit into tomorrow, but unfortunately this is about as good as it gets. Now overnight we should not see anything in the way of major amounts of rainfall. Could be a speckle of a thunderstorm or a smattering of some rain showers here and there, but beyond that we're just not looking at too much of anything out there. Sunset for tonight from the Weather Underground Camera Network, looking back to the area around Rhodes College in central Memphis and showing again a little bit of some sunset making its way on through the area. What's left of a thunderstorm that tried to get going? Nice little anvil top showing up here as we look from our transmitter tower camera off towards sunset tonight, but too cloudy to see any sun setting down by the horizon. Now, if you've got weather pictures, we'd love to see them. So again, definitely want to drop those along to me. We'll show you where to send those coming up here in just a little bit. Downtown Memphis, again, a little bit of some sunset showing up, looking across the Mississippi River, which again continues to be rather on the high side. It's going to be cresting again in the next couple of weeks as even more water makes its way down from the Missouri, the upper Mississippi, the Ohio, the Tennessee, all that converging here into and around the area. So we are going to be seeing some pretty high levels right around minor flood stage, which is about 34 feet. So not going to be seeing too much in the way of the river level dropping anytime soon. Been a very wet summer out there and going to continue to see that again throughout the rest of the next couple of days. Now, good news into around the area, that thunderstorm from earlier tonight that was severe in southeastern Shelby County. Nothing left of that right now back around Collierville, so Shelby County looking pretty dry for the time being. Thunderstorms over into around the Tennessee River Valley, which were also severe and dropping about four to five inches of rainfall 
also dwindling as they fade into northern Alabama and back into around middle Tennessee in the southwestern portion of the state there. Now the good news at this time is that we are not seeing anything really replacing this. Nothing is sparking any more development out there for tonight, but we do have again a lot more moisture on the way back to the west of us. Now if this continues, we're going to be seeing better chances of severe weather back into around the south central United States tonight and into tomorrow. I think for here in the Mid-South, we're not going to be seeing much of anything really until we get into around maybe tomorrow. So that should be again about the worst that we see. But I would not be surprised to see some thunderstorms popping up again from time to time. So please keep that in mind out there. Thank you very much for all the welcomes back uh, showing up for tonight. And again, drop your location and your weather reports if you have them into the comments section and we'll read off some of those uh, as we go along. Still pretty steamy out there. 85 degrees in Mariana, Arkansas. 94 the heat index right at sunset for tonight. So some pretty uncomfortable conditions out there. Definitely sultry, if that's a good word for tonight. Downright humid would be my choice of phrase for the evening. And looking at some numbers again in the upper 70s for right now, but not really much more than that for the time being. All right, getting into the numbers for tonight. News Channel 3 at 10, lower to mid 80s. That's about as good as it gets. And again, could be some of these stray showers and thunderstorms popping up every once in a while. But then from midnight onwards, it's doubtful we're really going to be seeing much of anything through daybreak into tomorrow morning. But there could be, by the time the sun comes up, a few stray showers and thunderstorms popping up into around very early Sunday. And then the chances will go up by just a little bit. So that mainly along and north of I-40, that's where we're going to be picking up the best possibility of anything involving uh, thunderstorms. Now, there is the potential for a lot more activity going on from Oklahoma back up to around, say, St. Louis. But it does not look like too much of anything in the way of major problems for us. Tomorrow afternoon and evening, that's something we're really going to have to keep our eyes on as what's left of those thunderstorms, if they redevelop, will be moving through at about this time tomorrow. So there could be that potential of a refire of these thunderstorms coming up across much of the area. So we could see that tomorrow night. So definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3. And again, we'll keep you advised on what we're going to be seeing there. Severe weather threat tonight is limited, but it's still possible. The latest forecast from the Storm Prediction Center at just before 8 o'clock showing again the the marginal threat in green, including the metro area, basically much of the News Channel 3 viewing area except for eastern Arkansas and northwestern Mississippi. Now, this is a far cry from what we saw earlier with that slight risk category, the yellow that you see down there. That was covering a good portion of the area. But for now, things are improving, and it looks like we're not going to be seeing that much of anything. But there is still a possible potential, not much of anything, but again, we'll be watching that, so definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3 uh, in case anything happens into and around the area for tonight. Now, tomorrow, the main threat, again, is going to be well to our west. Oklahoma City, the Red River Valley, the Arklatex area could be looking at the possibility of the strongest threat of severe weather. And as this moves our direction tomorrow night, we could see some problems here into the evening hours, so we'll be watching that, again, carefully. Now, good news toward Monday... We're not looking at anything in the way of severe weather, but there is going to be the possibility of some thunderstorms, the generic possibility of thunderstorms in the very light green shaded category. That's what we're going to be seeing across basically all the Mid-South on Monday. Also continuing into Tuesday, the threat for severe weather bracketing us to the northeast and to the southwest but no severe weather threat as we go into Monday. So definitely some good news there. Rest of the day tomorrow, steam heat once again, and the potential of numbers going back into around the lower 90s across much of the area as we head into the next couple of days, tempering the temperatures by just a little bit, not by much, but we will see at least a downturn out there. In the meantime, heat advisory will probably be expanded across much of the area tomorrow. So if you have to do anything in the way of yard work, exercise, anything like that, earlier in the morning or late after sunset will be your best bet. Add to that, outdoor activities have the possibility of thunderstorms to contend with as well. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be doing anything outdoors for right now. 
Uh, Kenny Tamboli, 75 in Mumford and 0 .7, 7 tenths of an inch of rain today. All right, thank you very much uh, for that weather report from around that area. Do appreciate that. And welcome to everybody else checking in. Uh, Faye Faison, hope I'm saying that right, 69 in Syracuse, New York. Uh, I'm not too sure if, not, don't think that's too close to New York City, but if it is, wave to my cousin Alex in the Bronx. Uh, Chicago, Doxy Nelson, 70 degrees today. Thank you very much for that one. And everybody else checking in from around the Mid-South or points elsewhere as well. Looking at the best possibility of showers and thunderstorms Monday, going off a little bit as we go into Tuesday. But here's the thing about this next week, heading out of June and into July. If you have any plans for outdoors, each and every single day, there will be a chance of showers and thunderstorms. So uh, graduation ceremonies still taking place out there in some locations, uh, family reunions, vacation Bible school, swim lessons, daycare, whatever you've got going on that involves outdoor activities, this is what you're going to have to pay attention to. And remember that lightning can strike 20 to 30 miles away from the parent thunderstorm. So if you see lightning, if you hear thunder, wrap it up, get back indoors again to make sure that everybody stays safe out there. Best thing you can do in situations like this, keep it tuned to News Channel 3, but also just keep an eye on what's going on around you where weather is concerned to make certain everybody stays safe. Now, over the next several days, it looks like it's going to be early July before we really get anything in the way of a rain-free day. And right now, this being 10 days out, Confidence is not high that we're going to be getting a totally rain-free day at this point because that's probably going to be changing in the next several days. Now, the good news is we'll be very close to normal over the next week heading into July. Things are looking, again, not quite as blistering as they possibly could be, but it's still going to be steamy out there. So please keep that in mind uh, if you are going to be doing anything outdoors uh, into and around the area for just any outdoor activities whatsoever. Be safe. If you hear thunder, if you see lightning, wrap it up, get back indoors, whatever you're doing, and stay safe. That's the important thing. Lightning accounts for a great deal of injuries and fatalities in the summertime. So please remember to wrap things up and just make certain you're paying attention to the weather out there. If you've got weather pictures for them tonight, the rain, the thunderstorms, many, maybe even any damage afterwards, hopefully that didn't happen. But if you did, we'd love to be able to see it and show it to everybody. We got some reports of some funnel clouds around Vihalia and around the Casey area into and around North Mississippi. We're waiting for uh, the owner of those pictures to give us permission to feature them on social media. When that happens, we'll be hopefully bringing some of that to you coming up a little bit later on. But if you have those, again, you can send them to me at these particular locations on social media, or you can also drop them to me right here at austin.onic at wreg.com. And thanks to everybody for those great pictures that you've been sending along so far. Really do appreciate it and grateful to be able to have viewers that pass along those pictures for us on stuff like that around the Mid-South. All right, one more check of what's going on for tonight, which certainly doesn't involve any cool weather. That's uh, no mistake on there. Temperatures by tomorrow morning, mid to upper 70s, and that's going to be about as good as it gets for right now. I doubt we're going to be seeing much in the way of showers or thunderstorms. There is that possibility, slim though it may be, of picking up a shower or a thunderstorm as we get into the late evening hours. So again, across the Mid-South, I would not be surprised to see that happening. Uh, again, something like that could be popping up at any point in time, and especially into tomorrow. So we could see, again, that potential out there. So just have a safe place in mind and ready to go just in case, and make certain, again, you're staying safe throughout the weekend, and especially as we get into some hotter conditions into and around the Mid-South coming up again tomorrow. Could be heat indexes well over 100 degrees with heat advisories possible again across the Mid-South as we go into Sunday. So please keep that in mind. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, for Saturday night, June 22nd. Again, a very big thank you to all my colleagues in the News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center for stepping up and helping me out again back for the first time in what feels like a month of Sundays as I had to go into the emergency room to get my foot operated on. I'm doing fine. The foot's doing fine. Thanks to my doctor for, again, keeping track of things 
uh, on that. And again, thanks to everybody around here for be will being willing to step up. And thanks to everybody also out there, you guys, for being very nice and all the good wishes and prayers and heartfelt thanks and everything else for uh, all that. Very nice to have you out there and also to bring this weather information to you and to have great people here at News Channel 3 that will step up and help when it becomes necessary. So a very big thanks to everybody on that for everything. Keep it tuned for more. We'll have updates on the day's news tonight at 10. Also sports and my complete weather forecast that will be coming up here after the NBA midsection uh, finals ball game on at this time. And, of course, we'll have more with News Channel 3's Jim Jaggers. He'll be on for me tomorrow morning, bright and early on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Thanks for joining us, and stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the evening.